You never really stopped liking hide and seek, you just found stealth games to replace it. Here are the top 5 free stealth games on Steam you don't know about. Part 2 High Entropy Challenges is a first person stealth game where you fight or avoid enemies while solving environmental puzzles. The goal of every level is to make it to the elevator at the end, but how you do that varies. You can stealth your way past enemies, turrets, and cameras, take an alternate route through air vents, or fight them head on. You're able to complete every level just by making it to the elevator, but the real challenge comes from completing all of the objectives in every level which adds much more of a challenge. It's usually best to sneak around unless you have enough firepower to take enemies out, though oftentimes one of your objectives is not to be seen. There's lots of items lying around that are used to progress. Bobby pins and a screwdriver can pick a lock while coins can be used in a vending machine, giving you a can to throw as a distraction, for example. <laughs> Along with puzzles, there are computers that allow you to do things like turn on and off tripwires or unlock doors. I found their commands to be pretty hard to understand at times because the manuals aren't very clear. What? The level design is wonderfully thought out though, as levels will sometimes have the same layout as past levels, but alter it enough so it's solved in new ways. If you're looking for an immersive sim centered around stealth and puzzles, then I recommend High Entropy Challenges. Run Prop Run is a multiplayer prop hunt hide and seek game about platforming and using abilities. Up to 12 players compete in the 7 rounds per match. If you don't know what prop hunt is about, one or two players are hunters and the rest are prop hiders. The hider characters get a timed head start to pick what prop they they want to become and then can pick a hiding space ideally before the hunters are released. Then the hunters search and shoot at props that look out of place. <laughs> What makes Run Prop Run more competitive and fun is the abilities it gives you to work with. Every person is able to make 5 duplicate items which makes it harder for the hunters to pick out who the real players are. You also get to pick one ability to use for that round. <laughs> Abilities are unlocked by leveling up so you gain access to different abilities as you gain XP from matches. The prop players will make a sound every time this timer runs out so the hunters can narrow in on the sound from the player props. <laughs> hunters score points by shooting at real players and staying close enough to capture them. While the prop players try to wait out the timer until one of the goals opens around the map, then they have to make their way to the goal without being captured by the hunters. If a prop makes it to the goal or gets captured by a hunter, then they get turned into a hunter and try to find the remaining props. Whoever has the most points by the end of the 7 rounds wins. The variety of props, maps, and abilities make each match different. If you're looking for your next party game or love hide and seek, then I recommend Run Prop Run. Scorch is a noir styled stealth FPS where you stalk through the shadows to take out enemies. It's got the classic film noir story setup of the guy who's in love but has to risk his life for it. And now I've got something else. I've got someone else. Okay. He has to take out the five targets who are responsible for trying to kill him. Like most stealth games, it's best to stay in the shadows since enemies have a harder time spotting you. The monochromatic art style makes it easy to distinguish light from dark and looks cool too. Enemy silhouettes blend into the dark until they either walk into the light or you shine them with your flashlight. The flashlight has limited use as it's on a cooldown timer. Similarly, your revolver has to be reloaded every 6 shots. If an enemy spots you, they'll open fire and close in on your position, causing you to scramble back to the shadows or kill them quickly. The enemy AI is pretty stupid and you can pick them off from far distances though. They also instantly disappear when you kill them, which is odd. <laughs> Anyways, when you kill each of the 5 designated targets, they'll drop a piece of evidence hinting at your backstory. If you're looking for a film noir stealth game, then I recommend Scorch. Piggy Hunt is a fast paced survival horror multiplayer game where survivors work together to escape from the infected piggy. All players are survivors except for one piggy whose goal is to hunt and kill all the survivors before they escape. Survivors have to run around the map looking for specific items and keys to complete objectives before they're able to escape. The hunter piggy player is able to see the scent trails of the nearest survivor to them and pick from one of three traps to help them kill survivors. However, survivors can pick up items like the stun gun that are able to stop the hunter for a few seconds. There are also air vents around the map that warp survivors around which makes for a convenient escape route. 
you thought? If a survivor does get killed, they become a ghost and can stun the hunter one time, though there's not much incentive to stay after that. Matches are unbalanced in the hunter's favor as well, though both sides are equally fun to play. When a survivor finds a key or item, they can open the corresponding door or complete tasks with it. Players can only see one another if their sightline isn't obstructed, but can hear sounds that are close, making the game very tense. The matchmaking times can be rough depending on when you're playing, but if you're looking for a tense multiplayer stealth game about completing tasks to survive or hunting players, then I recommend Piggy Hunt. Agent Double Zero is a puzzle stealth game where you infiltrate and uncover a secret project during the Cold War. It's primarily a puzzle game that requires quick thinking as every level has a timer. You make your way around the level collecting a specified number of collectibles, some of which are acquired via a hacking minigame, before you're able to escape using the elevator. Rooms can be rotated 180 degrees which can reveal a collectible or another door. Each colored door you go through puts you through that same colored door placed elsewhere in the level. The door has to be visible though or else you won't be able to pass through it. Levels will keep things fresh by making rooms rotate automatically or teleporting rooms around for example. You're able to pause the game showing the whole level which is also handy. Some levels are purely puzzle focused while others have guards that patrol around and can hop up and down rooms killing you if you can't get away in time. Similarly, cameras are placed in certain rooms, but you can rotate the room which gets rid of them, though the game can be a bit clunky, especially when it comes to dying. As you progress, you'll unlock two smoke bomb type abilities that make it so enemies can't see you, as well as spring shoes that allow you to hop up and down rooms like the guards, though all of your upgrades are on a cooldown timer. If you're looking for a puzzle stealth game, then I recommend Agent Double Zero. Come out from your hiding spots cause I've got one bonus game! <laughs> Ransack Raccoon is a top-down stealth game where you play as a raccoon stealing everything from a shopping mall. It's a stealth game in its purest form, just avoid the lights as you grab all of the items. Some lights move on a set path while others flicker on and off so you have to time your movement accordingly. Oh no! You have to get all of the items and escape before getting spotted three times. If you're looking for a simple stealth game then I recommend Ransack Raccoon. Those were the top 5 free stealth games on Steam you didn't know about. Part 2. I'll have part 1 to this video as well as my playlist of free Steam games you don't know about linked in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with this ongoing series.